Okay, fifth graders. Yesterday we learned how to find a fraction of a set, right? Like one fourth of 24 or three fourths of 20, right? I find a fraction of a, a, another number, a set of other collection, a collection of other things, right? Today we're gonna add on to that knowledge and we're gonna use a different kind of picture to represent the same idea. Okay, I'm gonna show you how, what I mean. Today we're gonna be using tape diagrams, that's the kind of picture we're using, to multiply a whole number by a fraction. Yesterday we really focused on using arrays to help us find a fraction of a set. Today we're going to be using tape diagrams. Now I want you to notice we wrote here a fraction of a set or a fraction of a whole number. Over here we also wrote a fraction of a set or of a whole number. Okay. We're going to take that language and turn it into a multiplication sentence and here's how. If I want to find three-fifths of 35, I can use a tape diagram to show it. Let me show you how, what I mean. I can show that my entire piece of tape is worth 35. I don't want the whole piece of tape. I only want a fraction of it. I only want three-fifths of it. So what I have to do is I have to take the whole of 35 and divide it into fifths because my units are fifths. How do I divide something into fifths? Well, I split it into five equal parts. So here's my first equal part, my second equal part, my third equal part, and my fourth equal part, and my fifth equal part. Do you guys see how I have now have fifths? So this part, if I shaded in this much of it, what fraction of the entire piece of tape did I shade in? One fifth. Good. But what fraction do we actually want? Three fifths. So I'm going to shade in three fifths. I'm going to use a bracket, those little parentheses things, and a question mark to show that I'm trying to find three fifths of 35. Do you guys see how this tape diagram represents three fifths of 35? Now, in order to find out what the value of three-fifths of 35 is, I have to first figure out what the value of one-fifth of 35 is. Because if I can figure that out, I just have to multiply it by three, right? So how many units did I divide this into? I split 35 into five equal size units. So what I can do is I can do 35 units equals 35. Write that down. Today you're going to copy the format exactly, okay? So if 5 units equals 35, 1 unit will equal 35 divided by 5, which is equal to? 7. 7, good. Notice how I wrote the division equation like a fraction. I, you can write it out too, but we now know it means the same things, right? So if 1 unit is 7, how much is 3 units? Because we're trying to find 3 fifths. 3 units will equal 7 times... 3 or 21. So what is 3 fifths of 35? 21. See how we can use a tape diagram to help us figure it out? Good. It says Aurelia buys two dozen roses, very timely for Valentine's Day. Of those roses, thir three fourths are red and the rest are white. You guys, yes, this was in Zern, very good. How many white roses did she buy? Be careful. Should I just do three-fourths of two dozen? No. no, because the rest are white. And if I'm trying to find out how many white roses she bought, what fraction was white? One fourth. Okay, one-fourth of two dozen. How much are in two dozen? Twenty-four. So I'm trying to find one-fourth of twenty-four. I could draw an array, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, etc. But today we're not doing that. We are using tape diagrams. So my entire piece of tape is worth how much? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. I need to split it into what kinds of, how many, what kind of units? Four. Fourths. So go ahead and split it into fourths. How many of those fourths am I trying to find? One. One. So I've now split 24 into how many units? 24 has been split into how many units? Four. So we write four units equals 24. My next step is always to find out how much one unit is. If 4 units is equal to 24, I can find the value of 1 unit by dividing 24 divided, divided by 4, which is? 6. And how many units are we actually trying to find? 1. One. So that's already the answer. So how many white roses did she buy? 6. 6 white roses. Let me ask you a question. How many red roses did she buy? 18. Yeah, because we know that this is 6, this is 6, this is 6, and this is 6, and 3 of them together for the red roses would be 18 red roses. Very good. Try this one. 
Rosie had 17 yards of fabric. She used one third of it to make a quilt. How many yards of fabric did Rosie use for the quilt? Was this on Zern too? Yeah. Good. So how do we solve this one? All together, how many yards of fabric does she have? 17. Okay. How much of it does she use? <coughs> One third. We're trying to find one third of 17, so I have to split it into thirds. And we want to find out how much was used. 17 will equal how many units? How many units did we split 17 into? Three. Good. So one unit then will equal 17 divided by three. How many holes are in 17 thirds? Five. Okay. And how many thirds are left? Two. two. So how much did she use? Five and two thirds. Five and two thirds yards. Okay, before we go on, before we go on for our problem of the day, I knew that today's learning goal says I can use a tape diagram, we've been using tape diagrams, to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Have we done any multiplication? No, we've been finding for the problem of the day. To one third of 24. Then what did we do? Three fifths of 35. Then we did one fourth of 24. Then we did one third of 17. Today's learning goal says I can multiply a whole number by a fraction, but we've just been finding a fraction of a set. I'm here to tell you that the word of can be replaced by a multiplication sign. So when we find one third of 24, we're really doing one third times 24. When we do three fifths of 35, we're really doing three fifths times 35. When we're doing one fourth of 24, we're really doing one fourth times 24. And last but not least, when we do one third of 17, we're really doing one third times 17. So the word of really means what? Times. times or multiplication. So really, we are multiplying one third, a fraction, times 24, a whole number. So whenever you see one, something like this, you can think of it as one third of 24. Make sense? Write that in your notes. Fraction of a set. In this problem, it says two thirds of a number is eight. We now know that the word of means multiplication. So what this means is two-thirds times something of a number will equal eight. And we have to find out what the missing number is. So if we draw a tape diagram, we know that the whole is what we're trying to find out. But if we divided the whole into thirds and we found two-thirds of them, that would be eight. Okay, and we're trying to find the whole. So what information is given to us? We, we have the number eight. But based on our drawing, eight is divided into how many units? Two. two units, good. So two units equals eight. So therefore, one unit equals four. eight divided by two, or four. So what that means is this third is four, this third is four, and this third is four. Our whole is how many units? Three, right? So we want to find out how much are in three units. So that's going to be four times three, which is? Twelve. So what is the whole number? So what that means is that 2 thirds of 12 is 8.